I've had some requests to make this video. What you're looking at is a water stream. Uh, the source of the stream is about 50 yards up the hill there uh, into the bushes where it comes out. But I've been playing for a couple of years, learning how to build dams. I tried to use na only natural materials. This dam that you're looking at actually lasted for about a year and then it caved through during the winter. But down here, uh, this used to be about three inches deep of water. And now I've gotten it up to about three feet. But I've had to veer, veer away from the natural resources. I've had to use a tarp to get a good seal to back up this much water reliably. But I am also in the process of hiding this with buckets of gravel to make this a lot prettier and give it a more natural look. But what you'll see down here is I've got, you'll see the two pipes going through the dam. The top pipe is just a PVC with a valve on the other side where if I wanted to fill a five gallon bucket, I could put it under and open the valve. The bottom pipe down there uh, is in a screen and it is an input pipe with a lot of holes in it to let water come in. And it goes down through the bottom of the dam and runs out through a galvanized steel pipe down to my ram pump. Uh, by the time you get down to the pump, from the top surface of the water in the reservoir down to the pump, you're about three to three and a half feet of fall. So what is going on is that I'm using gravity to build momentum down the galvanized pipe. And when enough momentum comes through, this is a unsprung valve that swings freely, but the momentum of the water slams that valve closed. When that happens, it water hammers through this valve and into the system. The white pipe is very similar to the air pressure tank that you would have on a traditional water well with electric pump at a home. But it comes out and I'm able to build a pre enough pressure that I can run a garden hose up the hill. Right now my system's operating at about 16 to 18 PSI pushing this water up the hill. I've seen calculations, I've used an online calculator based on pipe dimensions and the waterfall that I have uh, that I'm hitting that valve that you heard clacking with about 280 pounds of pressure to push water into this system. Uh, now, that doesn't mean I'm gonna get 280 pounds out of the garden hose. Uh, I have deadheaded my pump down there on the output side, turned it off, and have built up about 60 PSI in that, in, within that pump. Uh, so that is more than enough pressure that what I'm getting up here is I calculated about a gallon every two minutes and 15 seconds. Now, this doesn't look like a huge amount of water but with the pressure I'm able to put behind it coming up that hill, I can irrigate my garden through a soaker hose. Uh, I, I can actually uh, cap this off with my thumb and within a few minutes it'll build up pressure and I'll be able to shoot water a pretty considerable distance just by restricting it and building up pressure with my thumb. Um, one interesting thing about it is uh, at two and a half or two a gallon every two minutes and 15 seconds. That calculates out to about 630 to 640 gallons per 24 hour day. Um, and this system runs 24 seven, unless something stops those valves from clacking or restricts the water from going into the inlet pipe. I had at one point intended to plumb my gutters into this cube tote just as backup water if things got dry around my garden, but uh, I haven't plumbed it in. I filled that gallon, that tote right there in about 12 hours overnight. Uh, I may be putting another tote in up here just for backup water. I do realize that 250 gallons won't last me long, but I'm still in the learning phase. But uh, let me know what you think about what you see. If you like my video, um, if you have any questions, I'll put a link in the description to a better video that actually gets into the science of how this ram pump works. But if you've got a place where water falls, you can build this pump for about a hundred bucks.